You have entered Chad Man Gaming. Welcome to Cherry Man Gaming. What is going on, everybody? This is Chariot Man Gaming, and I'm coming at you with another video, a quick video, and an exciting video. God damn, man, it just keeps on happening, my people. My people, it just keeps happening. Announcements after announcements after announcements after goddamn announcements. Now, once again, Panic Button does the goddamn thing. This is one of the games they was talking about they wanted to announce. They also say they're going to make a personal game. Just to, make, just to add, they're going to make a personal game for the Nintendo Switch. For some reason, I don't know what it is, Panic Button is falling in love with Nintendo and that Switch. For some reason, they love developing for the Nintendo Switch. They've been a very busy animal lately. That we got another game called Warhammer. Not War. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me. I ain't mean to say Warhammer. Warframe. That's what I meant. Warframe. What the hell I'm saying? Warframe is coming to the Switch. It is coming to the Switch. And I remember that game. For a few years back, when it was out on PC, the Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, free to play game. You could do so many things with this game. You know? And from either gadget that I have here, it says Co op Shooter Warframe is coming to the Nintendo Switch. The, lo the long running free to play game is now in portable form. That is big news, man. You know? That's just gonna make more games. It just shows that the sales is what means something that is all about the sales and how much it sells just like the playstation 2 wasn't the most powerful actually that was the weakest play system the gamecube was way stronger than than the playstation 2 xbox the gamecube was the xbox was way um was later on down in development when the gamecube was the um the xbox game the gamecube was close to xbox the gamecube was a powerful system but didn't get all the third party support Sony destroyed everybody. It was the most selling console in history, second to the Wii U. And I think the PlayStation, the PlayStation uh, 4 might beat it out, but the Wii U is on a terrific path. And that shows even the Wii U was selling. It has nothing to do with power. It's not about power. That's when it. That's what I. Hey, the PlayStation One was weaker than the damn Sega Saturn. Didn't even ever knew that. It was a little bit weak and sick of Saturday. But what does it show, my people? What I'm trying to say is that it has nothing to do with power. It has something to do with sales. And Nintendo Switch is selling and selling and selling. Panic Button is just falling in love. They're getting a lot of love. You know, when you look at the stats, you see that, you know, Wolfenstein is, is selling like crazy. That is in the, the temp spot when you go on the eShop. But I'll talk about that in another video when I talk about the, um, the sales and everything about the stock my part i'm gonna talk about that in my next video i will be making that short but in this video i'm gonna talk about very short i'm not gonna take too long warframe warframe is coming to the switch and as i was saying the co-op shooter warframe is coming to the nintendo switch now this is what some um developers had to say what they were saying in either said there is an order of it an audience for it too over 30 million people have played the game as of October 2017 with over 120,000 playing at the same time on Steam alone. There's no mean feat for a five-year-old title from a competitively small studio. And this isn't coming to an end of Warframe Lightspeed either. Digital Extremes, which is the developer of Warframe, has seamlessly unveiled an upcoming Photon expansion that will bring a new open world, new faction, friction, and perks like hoverboards. While a long term code name, Red Jack Expansion, will introduce corporate spaceship combat. In this sense, the Switch version is coming at just the right time. There will be plenty to do it when it arrives. That is great news. 
more games, more, more, and goddamn more games need to come to the Nintendo Switch. And that shows, man, the power of the system. This is not a, 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 a game that runs on the 360 or PlayStation 3 or the, or the Wii U. This is a game that runs on, you know, the 8th generation console and above. And you know they update the graphics, which is fantastic. Bruh. Fantastic. In fact, look at this. Check out the damn video of Warframe Switch version. <laughs> about this game. Warframe coming to the Nintendo Switch. But it's not all fun and games though, because that was the good news. The bad news is Warframe does not offer cross-platform accounts or multiplayer on Nintendo Switch or any other platform. That's bad news. It doesn't offer multiplayer on Nintendo Switch or any other platform. That means you only have online, basically, with your friends on the Switch. It doesn't have multiplayer with any other platform. It doesn't have cross-platform play. But it damn sure has online game. But here's what they had to say. This is what the developers had to say or why this is such a case. This is what they want. Our goal is cross-platform play, explains Warfare Creative Director Steve Sinclair. Our goal is updating the PlayStation 4 version in sync with the PC version with all the same content features and events. For those things to happen, for the ecosystem to be shared, we cannot divulge, which means it's gonna be a very difficult situation to have the ecosystem of the Xbox One, the ecosystem of the PlayStation 4, the ecosystem of the PC, and the Switch all in one. It's gonna take a lot of work, and they don't have the time to put in a lot of work. A lot of accounts, it's, a lot, it's not built from the ground up like Fortnite or any other game that's built for that. It's not built from the ground up for that. That's why they could not make this happen, you know? But hey, I don't care. And if for any Switch owner, for any owner should be excited, I don't even give a damn. I don't give a damn. Fort Warframe is a great game. It's coming to the Switch and that's great news. And Panic Button is gonna do the damn thing. They're gonna cut, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna one of the best developers. And this also proves to the fact that Panic Button needs to be bought by Nintendo. Nintendo, please, take Panic Button immediately. Buy these guys. These guys love you. They love Nintendo Switches. They're developing. They're becoming a, the, the go-to developer for third parties. And for they just developing games for you. They're falling in love with the Switch, man. For some reason, they love you guys. They love what they're doing for the Switch. And I think Nintendo really needs to take heed and, and, and purchase these companies because they're doing the damn thing right now. Man, oh man, Warframe is coming to the Switch, man. Sound, people, what do you think about this news? This great news is coming here to, and I, people, and I want you to sound off in the comic section. Let me know. Tell me in the comment, in the comic section, and tell me what you think about Warframe coming to the, and, and, and everything else in between from Panic Button, and Panic Button is developing this game. And don't forget to hit that like button and shit, and subscribe to Cherry and Man Gaming and to smash the button, like button, smash it, slam it, the like button, take the keyboard and toss the damn shit out the goddamn window, taste it and throw it all the way out into the, into the open sea and take that damn keyboard and smash it, like button, subscribe, you know, hit that notifications bell so that you don't miss another video and another update when I'm going to be streaming and what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to say peace, and I'm going to see you in the next video when I talk about the stock. Peace.